Hello, everybody, and welcome back to an episode of Supreme Ruler 2020 as Italy in the Blitzkrieg scenario. Last time, we were just managed to take over, well, not all of the I part of this island, other than just, the just these 220 patches that we would like to have. Also, building up a new port here, and hopefully build up more supply lines here, and landing a bit on Canada itself, but there's also the problem of the economy, which, unfortunately, I may have no choice but to maintain taxes as it is, or, ugh, reluctantly, raise them as much as I can, but not all the way, though. Probably around 45%. Social spending increased by 30%-ish, so let's continue. Also, I... Also, Belarus is not doing well for some reason. Russia has not broken the Georgia Republic yet. Don't know why. But there's nothing we can do. At least for now. In the meantime, however, just maintain defenses, have these transports stay here for a bit. Uh, I do have a frigate, however, so I'll have them sit over here, these transports move away. Still, it would be nice to take this part of Canada, and then maybe, just maybe, try make peace. Well, that is if we're lucky enough to reach uh, Moncton. Moncton. Still, um, the Canadians could try counterattacks. Yeah, here they come again. So, with that, I'll send another spy, but this time a little bit more closer to... Um, Jor uh, Gage Town, at least. Okay, this, okay, this tank's getting a little too close. You units are just going to patrol back and forth, that's fine, since these barracks are not going to be done in a while. Uh, can you fire your missiles? That is, if you even have any additional missiles. Okay, that RN is taking a lot of damage. Okay, I'll have this frigate move in a little bit more closer. Just to see if they can support the units that are over here in the bridge. Yep, they can. Okay, social spending needs to go down. Taxes are increased again, but that's not helping. Uh, should I really dare max out? I'll increase by 1% and see, what see if that does anything. Probably not. Nope. Seriously, everything is expensive to maintain. Can't say I'm surprised. For all, we have a we have a kind of a mighty empire, but this is getting annoying. And at the same time, I will get these units loaded up as much as I can, but not all of them can load up anyway. So you would allow can any of you tanks load up? Yep, one, but Nope, not that one, and this one? Nope. So they're full. Okay, move this transport, and see if you can load up on that. There we go. Now... Majority of the units are over here, just defending. In cargo, and cargo. The rest of the units are just back in Europe, or deploy, but I have, will have them reserved, because there's no need. Alright then, so, time to get these transports all the way over here, and immediately try and deploy on Shark Town. I would like, I could build, put some, uh, garrisons though. Primarily in Shark Town, maybe about half. Okay, what's over here? An aircraft application is still being built, and yet there's no military here. Well... Then again, they could be anywhere else. And with access by the United States... Huh... I guess I have no choice, I guess I have no choice but to look at and see what else is here. Anyway, but we'll just have to wait for these transports to arrive. St. John's, uh, these guys are kind of supplied 
ish. And we finally took this area, so I'll have them all return to St. John's if they can. So this whole island is now ours. Well, we're just gonna wait for this pier to be built, and maybe, maybe not build a barracks. Probably not. And this destroyer is taking a little bit amount of damage, so have this guy support. You, however, move in to help the uh, the army that's kind of trying to stay put. And okay, so the majority of the Canadian army is at Shearwater, and they're all moving around for some reason. Wait, who else are they at war with? Nobody else, just us. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're screwed. <laughs> We're screwed if the United States just declares war. And so we got a little bit of territory there. I don't know how, but that's just what happened. And where are those transports? Here they are. You guys move back or just stand by. I don't care which, what you do. Alright, this frigate, get on the other side. Alright, that's fine. Yeah, these transports are slow, but that's to be expected. Okay, tourist attractions being repaired, barracks are almost done. And now I can unload more reinforcements. Except you guys are just not helping. Thank you for finally being deployed. Is that it? Yep, that's it. Hey. Oh, of course. A Ticonderoga class cruiser. <sighs> that is going to be a slight problem. Uh, well, I guess I could have some of the ships move out a little bit. Wait. Nah, never mind. Okay, time to look at the rest of the world a little bit. North Korea, still surviving. How? I have no idea. India, losing territory to the Chinese and Pakistani forces, including Bangladesh. Yeah, I think this is the first time seeing uh, India losing the war, it seems. Nigeria, should I even say about them? Other than growing in size. South Africa, they failed to cross Rhodesia, now being pushed back, it seems. Bonsai big, I don't know why. Not even Nambia. Yeah, I don't quite get it. Uh, nothing else. Iran's unusual war, including Israel's unusual war. Who they have failed to take out Jordan. Even though this is a bad timing to go to war with Israel, since they're both at war with Turkey. Also, Russia... I don't know. Uh-oh. Okay, Uzbekistan forces are being attacked here. Some Turkmenistani forces are also under attack here. But they're retreating now. Ugh. Sad for Tajikistan being uh, conquered by China. Uzbekistan, I don't know how long they're going to last. Alright. So, we don't have any air power, unfortunately, because we, there's not really a single airfield we can have. And unfortunately, I may have to send some of my units, my transports, back to Europe, somewhere. Uh, unfortunately, there's no port here. The only port is up here at... Uh, whatever that place is called. I can't, I can't spell that. I can't really uh, pronounce that name. But I have no choice. I have to send them up here. Gather more reinforcements. Send them up to rendezvous at St. John's. Resupply. 
then head towards Charlottetown. Though I will hope that my units here are quite enough. At least I hope so. These transports are just gonna stay here, provide support hopefully. But the key area to deal with... Okay, here comes a lot of pet tanks. I swear, if they have an Abrams, yes they do. Well, at least we're wiping them out slowly. Uh, uh, fire missiles. Yeah, take out this Taikunga roller class. And it's sunk. Oh dear, this ain't good. Okay, you transports better move up and help. Okay, this recon needs to retreat. There goes another pattern, there goes another one. Kind of. Uh, second thought, I guess it's best to attack immediately. It's a bit of a risk. Okay, we gain a foothold, somewhat. Okay, here come the Abrams. You guys move up. Help. Help them out. That was weak. That was surprisingly weak. Alright, um... Trench here. Hopefully the supply lines will be expanded a little bit. But now where should we go? Should we head down here and deal with the nuisance at uh, Shearwater and try and take Halifax, then get the rest of the island, this part here? But I, but or we can try and take Moncton and deploy garrisons, hold out there, and then turn around. That's another idea as well. But wait, speaking of which, what's our supplies? Plenty, including uh, fuel, right? Yep, plenty. Our military, however, has a huge stockpile. It's never gonna stop. I mean, look at this. Five million tons. Industry, also pretty high. Consumer, eh, it's a little uh, diff questionable. Here come the Abrams again. Or, no, oh, that's a... No, wait, that's a T-E-M-B-T. Alright. There we go. But entrenched now. I guess I will have to uh, attack this way instead. There's a... You know, there's a big risk of... Uh... Monks and... Um... I don't know. Okay, where are those transports? Here they are, slowly making their way across the Atlantic. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. Legalized control substance, that's interesting to know. Attack! Okay, there goes an Abrams. Turn around. Get over here. Entrench, have this recon expand a little bit. And... Entrench. Uh... Let's take a thought. Try and expand a little bit more. And that's about it. Yeah, that's about it. And of course, we're gonna lose a little bit of territory. But... We're getting there. It's too bad this area, though, is not supplied yet. Okay, that barracks is almost done. What well, about the barracks here? Almost done as well, so we're close. We're close. Around two more days, at least. But now what to do? Should we head down south, or should we just try and cut them off by taking Moncton? The only other way to cut them off is also to take acquire the territory here as well. The, wait a minute. There's one thing I need to check. Greenwood. What do they have there? 
Here comes another MBT. Move out and take that out. Entrench. Uh, yeah, just entrench. Have this ship go this way, but I'll have the destroyer move up north. Somewhat. Move over here. Alright, you turn around. Huh, Trenton only has three garrisons. Should be interesting. Oh, here comes another tank. What is this? An Abrams? Although these Abrams are kinda weak. Surprisingly. World's most advanced tank getting overwhelmed and destroyed. So, yeah, I guess we could try and just advance down south. Though that may be uh, problematic at the moment. Whatever, let's just move up towards Trenton and take that. Yeah, easily we're taking that. And here comes an engineer. Sneaky bastard. <laughs> well, that, we're just gonna turn around and take him out. I just friggin' move up here. He, he ran out of supplies, so that's not good for him. I have another recon there, so he's gonna help out. A bit. Regain territory and rendezvous a little bit. That area and reconnect. Yeah, it's best to at least try and put some defenses there. Alright, you get over here. get repaired. All these units have been stuck here for too long and now finally can get off the bridge. These ships move up a little bit. I have this RN move up uh, northward. Uh, I have a destroyer this way. I have, okay, some annoying units over here again. Change of plans. I want Moncton. I really do want Moncton. So we don't have to keep dealing with the amount of bullshit every time of losing supplies so damn fast. They're gonna get damaged and they can retreat, that's fine. No, 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 I want one engineer to hit that direction. Okay, one garrison down. And they're gonna retreat and get repaired, that's fine. Transports move back, uh, except for this frigate. Come on, I want Moncton. There we go, Moncton is ours. And it's going to be our main fortress line, defense line. And I'm gonna fully garrison that. You guys, however, rendezvous with this unit. You guys, I don't know what the hell you were doing, but um, running out of supplies is not really good. So we got a new supply line. It's gonna be a little slow though. We got a barracks. That sea pier is not gonna be done yet. This tourist attraction, another 12 days. Well, that's well, uh, that's nice to know. Okay, this engineer is running out of supplies too fast. Anyway, who's damaged? You retreat. You're fine. You're all actually you're all fine. So glad these guys turn around. I'll have some tanks help out, but I will leave one leopard behind. Um, engineers move out as well. Now, those transports. Uh, okay, they're getting close. Taking some rather awkward journey for some reason. Guess they just ran out of supplies somewhere along the journey. Alright then. 
You move up. You stop and entrench. Uh, let's see. No. Uh, shoot. Uh, you go that way. But what else do they have anyway? Most of our tanks are gone. Two garrisons, three garrisons here, and two more garrisons. Interesting. Well, I'll have these one uh, destroyer move up a little bit. Along with this one. Just to see what exactly the Canadians have over here in this direction. More importantly, do they even have a pier? Yes, they do, so they could have a navy somewhere hiding. Or just standing by. Okay, I think that's close enough. You move up. You get over here, but then again, all of you move up anyway to take out this transport. A uh, supply truck, I mean. Or not. Entrench, entrench. And move out. Easy conquest here. Yep, that was easy. Okay, that's a lot of units. You move up, move up, move up. And they are also going to get easily destroyed, even though, despite the nuisance of the Canadian Air Force. Okay, I think we're fine here with the garrisons that are going to be deployed soon. Hopefully. Okay, we kind of lost a couple of units, but that's fine. But most of the others are going to retreat, hopefully. These tanks need to be gone. We need reinforcements. I know. Just do what you can. Take out these tanks. Okay, you two can retreat, that's fine. Why are they going to go across that way? I have no idea. Yeah, the Canadians are not a cat car Ugh. Can't speak. <laughs> the Canadians are not counterattacking here yet. Don't know why. Okay, at least these destroyers are helping. Can they fire missiles? No, it doesn't look like they're loaded. I think. Okay, you get around this way. If you can. Actually... Go around... Okay, Halifax is... ours. Finally. But now time to entrench, because a lot of these guys are damaged. More so than others. Now the biggest annoyance, Greenwood. We need to take that, get our territory over here, and pray we don't have to keep doing the constant air attacks. At least our destroyers are kind of providing some amount of air cover. But I will have a frigate make a red, kind, somewhat of a risky journey to go around. Same with these ships, except for one. Uh, repair immediately. Okay, this BMR better reinforce at Moncton. Even though there's a full garrison there, I'd rather not risk leaving it alone. So, with that, this area is kind of secured. The sea pier here is not done yet. <sighs> of course, the Canadian force is counterattacked. Now, our transports are finally home. But are not going to be here for long, because we're going to have to load up more units. Not a whole lot, though. I only want a certain amount. Get over here. Uh, I guess I could send extras just to be safe. Yeah, just to be safe. 
All right then. So, two more units. I'll send them out. I lost the ship, didn't I? Son of a... Okay, so this is going to be a little annoying trying to maintain control of this area, but the Canadian Navy will just keep counterattacking. Right. So, so the frigate out here. That's a British ship. Okay, no, 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 no. Okay, actually, you know, go over there. You guys go over here. Try and take the bus territory, then move up. Slowly. Not too... Not all the way, though. <laughs> too easy. You know what? Just charge right in. It's too easy. Well, wait, wait, wait. No. And now charge right in. Yep. Too easy to take Greenwood. There we go. Greenwood is now under our control. So with that, I'll just have to focus on these guys here. And that should be about it. Yeah, they're just going to retreat. But I will have some of these units. Uh, try and get repaired as soon as I can, though. But... Oh, great. Of course, a Canadian Ticonderoga class cruiser. What do you expect? But I hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to stop right here. So, hope you enjoyed this and see you again in the next episode.